This is the PJ410N. Hold on. This is the PJ410N by Journey Instruments. Journey Instruments gave me this guitar. Actually, it's on loan from them. It's not mine. But the good part about it is I'm giving this one away. They're letting me give this guitar away. This exact guitar right here, the ones in my hands. I gotta put it back in the box and send it to one of you guys. So there's a link below if you want to enter to win this exact guitar. Links below, no purchase necessary, all that stuff. You can enter to win this thing. If you want to buy it, you can just go to the website. I'll put a link below about that too. As you can see, this is a small guitar. I mean, look at it compared to me. Look at that. Yeah, tiny thing. Perfect for travel. We'll get more into that in a minute, but let me show you in comparison with its bigger brother. So the one in my right hand on your left side of the screen is the overhead, the OF312. So that's his big brother. They're, I mean, they kind of, you know, they're not too much different. The bodies are, you know, about the same size, but they, the overhead may be, you know, maybe a few inches taller um, and definitely wider. It actually tapers, this one does. So you can see it's a, a good bit wider. So it's just a bigger guitar overall. The overhead is also made for travel as well. The neck breaks down just like its little brother, the, the PJ. So in comparison with maybe a normal size guitar, this guitar right here on my, in my right hand, is a uh, Takamini. You can see there's a pretty good size difference. This is a, a full size in comparison with the Puddle Jumper. So you can kind of see not too much smaller in width though. And that's a good thing. The guitar itself is a 23 inch scale and it comes in at a total of 33.5 inches, which is about 85.3 centimeters long. So we've established it's a really small guitar. It can almost fit through, like straight through a doorway this way. Oh my God. It really does fit through a door. This is not a bag review, but it is an important piece of this guitar. It's an important aspect of the guitar because it is, it's made for travel. And if you're going to travel, you need a nice bag. It's like a book bag style. It does have a buckle at the bottom. Um, it does have a 14 inch laptop compartment right here and then a whatever compartment right here. So the total length is about 18 and a half inches. The width is about 12 and a half inches. And I think the depth at its widest when the guitar is in the bag is about seven and a half, seven, seven and a half, something like that. So it's made to, to be a carry-on. It can be a carry-on in, in most airlines. And the really cool part about this one, the reason why it's called a Poto Jumper is for small planes. Sometimes the overhead compartment is really small or just non-existent. Okay, where's the fire, huh? This guitar bag, the guitar and the guitar bag itself, was made to be able to fit right up underneath the seat of an airplane. Now I don't have a plane to show you how it fits under the seat, but I do have a car and you can put it in the front seat. Let me just show you, come on. All right, so check this out. Let me just put it right here. Look at that. You can't do that with a guitar case. Throw it in the seat. Why not? The soundboard, the top of the guitar is made out of a uh, solid Sitka spruce. And then the sides and the back are a layered African mahogany. And it's so, so pretty. And the neck is a C-shaped, Afri solid African mahogany. And it has this other little component that helps keep the strings onto the guitar when you take the neck off, which is really nice to have. The fretwork feels super nice. I've picked up some thousand dollar basses and some other really nice guitars where you run your hand along the fretboard and the frets are like almost cutting you. Anyway, this one feels really nice. So I'm gonna break this guitar down so we can look at it for a second. So I'm gonna loosen this little adjustment knob. All right, pull a little bit back on the neck itself, press the button and the neck comes right on. And the strings go everywhere. Not really because of that. <laughs> so they don't, they don't actually come out of the guitar itself. So then when you go put it in the bag, your strings are, are relatively in tune when you put this thing back together. Now I will say the other one, it's a little bit bigger brother. I took that thing apart, put it back together, and it was still almost perfectly in tune. So it stays in tune a little bit better than this one does. So let's look at how to build this thing one more time. So what I do, this there's this little hook on the body of the guitar that's made of stainless steel, and there's also a hook on the neck itself. So I'm gonna lay this neck in to where it's gonna grab this hook. Make sure my strings are set into the nut itself, which it is, it's ready to go. And that looks broken, doesn't it? All right, so I'm gonna take the, my hands and I'm just gonna press straight down. So that's gonna lock the neck into the body of the guitar. And then I like to flip it over. And what I do is I take my arm and I kind of put my elbow right here and I pull back on the neck 
a little bit. And when I pull back on the neck, what that's gonna do is it's gonna seat the neck all the way back into the, the base of this assembly section of the body. So then I just take my, my hand and I dial this adjustment knob in as tight as I want to. I can loosen it if I want a little bit higher action, but I like a lower action on my guitars. So I'm gonna just adjust this all the way tight, you know, check everything. And I haven't tuned this guitar since we went up to the mountain. And it's out of tune. <laughs> I just wanna talk about the sound for a second. It sounds really good. Do want to compare this with like the Takamini and maybe even the the overhead, the bigger brother to this puddle jumper. So we just play a G, which is all right. So remember that. Okay, so I haven't done any changes to the way I'm recording this. So you can hear there's a lot more clarity in the highs and the lows on this guitar. This one sounds really good. Okay, let's go back to the puddle jumper. Here's just a little bit of, kind of a low mid bump almost. I don't know. I'll let you decide. This has a really good sound though. in the low end. There's a lot of low end there. You hear that difference, don't you? See, that's a difference that I can live with. That's not a diminishing quality in my opinion. It's just a little bit different sound. But the fact that I can travel with this guitar in such a small package uh, just kind of outweighs any nitpicks we may have with the sound. I mean, I like it and it plays well. The frets are spaced really nice. It doesn't feel like a tiny guitar. It doesn't feel like I'm playing an oversized ukulele. philosophy of use of this guitar. What are you going to use this thing for? I think this is obviously great for travel. Secondly, it's perfect for practice. Because you can travel well with this, you can have this guitar with you in situations or in places that you probably couldn't have a, a larger guitar. I mean, you could even get this out in the car. And then I was thinking about this when I was writing some notes for the video, but this is a perfect guitar for small group worship. Maybe you're the worship leader of a small group and you're like, you know, I, I mean, I could take my big guitar and I have and it, it works fine, but sometimes the guitar can be too loud and with this guitar being a little bit smaller, um, it doesn't quite get as loud as well as just easy. It's just easy to take in, snap it together, make sure it's in tune and go. And it's just really cool. It's not gonna be too loud. It's gonna be perfect for those small group sessions, um, especially if the environment is smaller. It just feels better. You don't feel like you're having to, you know, swing and watch out for the person sitting next to you. One of you are gonna win this guitar and all you gotta do is go to the description below, click on that link. It'll be labeled giveaway, giveaway link right down there in the description. 
Just go down there, click on that link, follow, follow the steps. There's no purchase necessary whatsoever. Once I'm done filming this video, I am gonna pack this guitar away, put it in a box and get it ready to ship to one of you guys. And in a couple weeks time, we're gonna announce the winner of this guitar on Instagram stories and on YouTube stories. So follow us on Instagram, Worship Leader Hangout. And of course, right here, if you subscribe, you'll be able to see the stories come through on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like stuff like this, we're gonna be doing more reviews. I got an, I'm, I'm gonna be reviewing the overhead. It's a little bit bigger brother and uh, talking about it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and remember great worship leaders are always learning. See?